Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. It is Tuesday, December 10th, 2013. I'm Leanne McAdoo, and here is a look at what's coming up tonight. Tonight, the tribulation of Christians is underway worldwide. Then, Italian riot police join anti-EU protesters. And New York Times reporters sue the DHS over an interrogation cover-up. That's next on the InfoWars Nightly News. Hey, listen, I'm here to warn people. You keep telling me to shut up. This isn't a game, okay? Our government in the U.S. is building FEMA camps. We have an NDAA where they disappear. People all over the world who are sick to death of the crushing boot of tyranny are taken to the streets to say, enough. Well, now, a remarkable video has actually surfaced that shows Italian riot police removing their helmets in solidarity with anti-EU demonstrators in Turin who are protesting against the state of the economy, the single currency, and fuel prices. The protesters represent the unemployed, casual workers, pensioners, workers in every sector, students, mothers, and fathers who see it as their duty to throw out the criminals who hold power. Well, police removing their riot gear and joining with protesters is turning into a refreshing social trend. Last week, we saw the Thai police who were ordered to harass demonstrators, and instead they chose to remove their helmets and their shields. And then, of course, we have the, the Florida cop who went to jail rather than remove his anonymous mask. Now, historically speaking, it's a really good sign when police join in solidarity with demonstrations because it's usually a precursor to massive social chains, just like we saw before the fall of the Berlin Wall. So that's actually quite a good sign. Now, while growing animosity for Orwellian governments is stirring up all around the globe, there's also an unseen war brewing against freedom of religion. Particularly Christians are being burned alive, beheaded, crucified, and tortured to death. Some are in prison, but most people aren't even aware of it. Discrimination against Christians should be countered in the same way as anti-Semitism and Islamophobia, but the governments of the Western world and the mainstream media are almost entirely ignoring what is happening. It's been estimated that 100 million Christians are currently facing persecution, being forced to leave their homes and see their churches destroyed in some parts of the world. Some are often subjected to rapes, kidnappings, and obviously discrimination. A top Vatican official estimates that approximately 100,000 Christians die for their faith each year. Now, this persecution is steadily intensifying as a growing unseen war on morality and freedom of religion is spreading. John Bowne is going to actually break down what Michael Snyder is speaking about in his article that's up on Infowars.com. The mainstream media and our elected corporatized politicians are completely ignoring a worldwide phenomenon. The growing numbers of murders and incarceration of Christians worldwide. A taxi driver was beheaded by Islamists in Egypt because he had a cross hanging in his windshield. The ancient churches in the Syrian city of Sadad were destroyed along with the lives of 45 Christians by U.S. supported opposition military. At least 280 dead Christians in the Central African Republic after Muslim ex-rebels slaughtered them like chickens with machetes. 50 Christians burned to death in their pastor's home in Nigeria. According to the Christian charity Open Doors, in Eritrea, located in the Horn of Africa, Christian men and women are being held in underground dungeons, metal shipping containers, and military detention centers. And in North Korea, eight people were killed by machine guns at a local stadium in the city of Wonsan, while a crowd of 10,000 people, including children, watched the killings. Back in October of this year, InfoWars reported on the pre-deployment briefing of Fort Hood soldiers that were told that Christians, Tea Party supporters, and anti-abortion activists were a radical terror threat and that anyone found to be supporting these groups would be subject to discipline under the Uniform Code of Military Justice. From a speech given by John Adams to the military in 1798, our Constitution was made only for a moral and religious people. It is wholly inadequate to the government of any other. Due to the interest of time, I have barely scratched the surface of atrocities endured by Christians globally. For InfoWars.com, John Bound reporting. 
And in the ongoing war on the press, New York Times reporters are suing the Department of Homeland Security for an interrogation cover-up. A lawsuit obtained by the Courthouse News states Times journalists Mac William Bishop and Christopher Shivers were on their way to Turkey to cover the Syrian civil war when they claimed they were subject to segregated questioning by DHS employees at JFK on May 24, 2013. Mr. Bishop was subjected to further segregated questioning by DHS employees as he returned to the United States. Now, Bishop and Shivers both filed FOIA requests to determine why they were detained. But the lawsuit states that they haven't heard one word, even though Bishop claims that he physically witnessed his information being entered into a computer in a private room at JFK. Now, one of the attorneys representing the New York Times company says, we want to be sure that our journalists are not being targeted by the DHS for special scrutiny or having their activities monitored by the government when they are engaged in reporting. DHS has failed to provide adequate responses to our FOIA requests seeking whatever information DHS employees were working with and whatever information they gathered in the questioning. Now, this alleged detainment fits a pattern of abuse that journalists have been facing from the Obama administration ever since he's been in office, and his administration has been continually accused of being the most hostile toward a free press in U.S. history. Now, stick around, because coming up, you're going to find out what 500 authors have to say about this mass surveillance. The InfoWars crew absolutely loves coffee because we love being awake. And I am somewhat of a connoisseur of coffee. So many times you go to a restaurant or even to a coffee shop and the coffee tastes like garbage. And in all the different coffees I've tried, my favorite is grown in the high mountains, in shade, Arabica, on the border with Guatemala in southern Mexico by the Chiapas farmers. I make sure we've done the research. I make sure it's the very best product that we can offer you when I put my name on it. And I believe, and it's my taste, so you may differ, that this is the best coffee in the world from Southern Mexico. Wake Up America Patriot Blend, 100% organic, Arabica shade grown. And then we have the Immune Support 100% organic coffee infused with a special type of mushroom known to boost the immunity. This coffee is seriously so smooth. I normally have to douse my coffee with cream and sugar and cinnamon and all kinds of tasty treats, but this, I drink this black. It is so good. Well, that's why I like it, is that it has a kick, it has really good caffeine in it, it has a good clean wake up that lasts for a long time, doesn't give me a headache, but it's so smooth, it's so delicious. Just try it out for yourself. I'm telling you, this is my favorite coffee. We went through a lot of trouble to bring you this. Just try it, and I think you'll be hooked like we are here at InfoWars. Well, folks, find out for yourself and support the information war today. It's all available at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Alex Jones has been warning you for years that you are being spied on by virtually every single electronic device that you own. Well, now, of course, years later, the mainstream media is reporting on that as well. <laughs> so, Jakari, the mainstream media is reporting about it. It must be true, finally. Yeah, it's true. Just like uh, I believe it was a few months ago, the mainstream networks finally caught on that your smart TVs and your cameras and so forth can spy on you. So it must be true now. Yeah. And now we have the same deal with the, uh, the piece you they'll see at the end of this episode. But also we have this article, World of Spycraft. Now this concerns the World of Warcraft. It's a very popular online game. And it turns out that the NSA has been spying on people inside this virtual world. <gasps> I, it is, I know it's so shocking to you, you know. <laughs> and, and that's the thing we always see, you know, 
Well, if if that's the case, what do I have to hide? I don't care that the NSA is going to spy on me because I have nothing to hide. Well, let's uh, take a look at that theory. Let's see. Teen arrested over sarcastic comment on video game. Wow. So we see that people are being snitched on in here. In this article, as well as a couple other ones, I'll show you some for the sake of time here. High school students faces 20 years for Obama Facebook threat. That's a post on Facebook. And also Xbox, excuse me, Xbox One will be monitoring device under the guise of a gaming console. So it's not just the NSA that you have to worry about. They have people, not necessarily agents working for the NSA, but let's say you are online and you're mm -hmm. in an online environment, you feel safe, you feel comfortable, and you make some comments that may not be appropriate. Now, I'm not vouching for the things that all these people are saying. You know, it's not just in the in the virtual world as far as the video games. It's also on Facebook. It's also on your smartphone and so forth. If you say something that's a little off color, you could have a visit by the police. In the case of this uh, young man with the middle finger up, you know, he's been in jail for a while. He, he's doing some time. So you have to be very careful when you do these things. But also, going back to the video games, we see Microsoft, which is involved in the prison scandal, which makes the Xbox. Also makes the Xbox Connect. Since you're so powerful, so advanced, they can track your eye movements and so forth. And then you have the articles about whether or not it can see your uh, see your genitalia and stuff. And people debate it. They say, you know, is it the uh, is it the fold in the jeans? Is it the man's member? Who knows? You you can decide for yourself what it is. But regardless of what it is, you need to know if these people can and will spy on you if they have some reason to do so. They're putting ads into your video games. They're tracking what you're mm -hmm. doing. They're tracking your eye movements. They can tell how many people are in your house. What you're doing. And just they can report this anytime they want. They can tap in and see it anytime that they want. Yeah, not to mention Second Life, the NSA is in there as well. And people do all kinds of crazy things in that reality. So Exactly right. You might want to hide those things. Yes. Thanks, Jakari. All right, well, since the spy state continues to take every single opportunity to bug all of your electronic devices, a large group of more than 500 renowned authors, including some Nobel laureates, have started a petition to demand the end to mass surveillance. Their open appeal is called a stand for democracy in the digital age and calls for the creation of an international bill of digital rights. The appeal reads, we demand the right for all people as democratic citizens to determine to what extent their personal data may be collected, stored, and processed, and by whom, to obtain information on where their data is stored and how it is being used, to obtain the deletion of their data if it has been illegally collected and stored. We call on all states and corporations to respect these rights. It adds that a person under surveillance is no longer free. A society under surveillance is no longer a democracy. To maintain any validity, our democratic rights must apply in virtual as in real space. Now, everyone is invited to sign the open appeal at change.org slash surveillance. And this digital bill of rights couldn't come any sooner because tech Giants like Google are looking to leech their little tentacles into every area of your life, including directly implanting a chip in your brain. In an interview with the London Independent, Scott Huffman, Google's engineering director, said he's looking for ways to make the search engine more reflective of the complex interactions that people enjoy with other people. Now, to do this, he envisions a microphone hanging from a ceiling responding to verbal queries, which would remove the need to whip out a phone. You know, be just like having an intimate conversation with friends. That is, if your friend is an NSA informant. We've seen our trust betrayed over and over again. And in this corporatist fascist society that's being created, the lines between government and corporations are disappearing completely. Remember that it was just eight months ago that Google's Eric Schmidt was pushing for private drones to be eliminated, saying that he was worried that people's privacy would be violated by private drones. Google's entire business model is built on violating your privacy. From satellites to street views to email to storing our internet activity, would drones be more likely to invade our privacy than Google Glass? But Schmidt tipped off his real concern. Not your privacy but the potential of what he said was new technology to democratize the ability to fight war. Schmidt set out the trajectory of robotic warfare, and he considered whether it would be confined solely to national governments. He said, it's probable that robotics becomes a significant component of nation-state warfare. I'm not going to pass judgment on whether armies should exist, but I would prefer to not spread and democratize the ability to fight war to every single human being. Well, that's the idea behind gun control, getting rid of the people's ability to fight a war. 
If war is democratized, it serves as a deterrent to tyranny and a deterrent to violence. But if war is monopolized, freedom is destroyed and war is guaranteed. Google likes to pretend that they're making technology available to you, but Schmidt wants to keep technology that would free you out of your hands. He wants to use technology that will enslave you. He sees killer robots on the horizon and he wants government to have a monopoly on all future technology, including reconnaissance. The corporate fascist state will have cameras everywhere, but if individuals want to monitor the government, their technology will be criminalized, as it already has been in Texas. And private drones will be shot down by the police, as they were during the riots in Turkey. They could care less about your privacy, and they don't care how the government construes or misconstrues your personal data. Google's business model is to collect your personal data and sell it to whoever will pay for it. Do you think that might include the government? Put another way, the business model of companies like Google and Facebook is to know everything about you, create a model of you that they can sell to third parties who will then use that model to predict and to control your behavior, whether that means buying a consumer product or buying into a government slave state. For InfoWars Nightly News, I'm David Knight. And if you're not okay with Google implanting a GPS tracking device inside of your child's brain, Never fear, because R2-D2's evil twin will look after them. Welcome to Tyranny Watch. I'm Gigi Arnetta. The surveillance state is consuming every part of what used to be our freedom as United States citizens. If it isn't bad enough that the NSA has bullied its way in, into everything, the local cops and feds are also hijacking cell towers at will. The nation's mobile phone carriers received more than 9,000 requests last year for cell tower dumps. This gives the tyranny enforcers the ability to access all the phone traffic on that tower at once. This includes data that has text message contents, voicemail, wiretapping, websites visited, and more. All this exposed in a congressional inquiry proves that they are surveilling without probable cause. Well, it doesn't matter to the NSA. They say it's legal to track the five billion records a day that they hijack without a warrant. InfoWars has been reporting for a while on the different ways the NSA has been spying on you, from the mesh networks to your cable TV box, your cell phone, even your computers. Well, the mainstream media is just now catching on. Yesterday, Fox reported that they've been spying on people through their computers via computer cam and microphone, and that your camera light doesn't even have to be on for it to be happening. Tyranny hits the streets in Northern California with a 300-pound robot that resembles the evil R2-D2. A company called Nightscope has this 300-pound robot that cruises around the streets, stalking people's information. The new spy bot is known as the K5 Autonomous Data Machine. They use the guise of creating a safer environment for schools and parking lots while scanning you, your technology, license plates, and you and your family's every movement. They say it's to make you safer. Where have you heard that before? And what happened to privacy? Welcome to the United Surveillance States of America. I'm Gigi Arnetta for Tyranny Watch on the InfoWars Nightly News. Do you want to make a quick $10,000 cash while sticking it to the TSA? Well, stick around because Kit Daniels joins me in the studio to tell you how you can do just that. We're on the march, the empire's on the run, and the InfoWars army is standing strong. Wake up your family, friends, and neighbors and break the matrix at InfoWarsStore.com. Learn the truth and spread the message of liberty with the world's most comprehensive collection of books and documentary films. Maintain a healthy metabolism and energize your body to perform at peak health with Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Protect your family and be prepared with survival foods and emergency preparedness kits. And now you can drink safe water with your own ProPure water filtration system, which removes fluoride and other harmful chemicals from your family's water supply. Save 10% with the promo code WATER. So join the revolution, InfoWarsStore.com. 
Many anthropologists and archaeologists believe that before man even discovered uh, the power to harness and use fire, we were involved in agrarian activities. That is, taking the seeds of plants and then replanting them to produce more. The very foundation of our modern civilization and human culture is centered around the planting and cultivation of edible plants. Here are some of the amazing deals at InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsShop.com. The Survival Seed Vault by My Patriot Supply features only the finest survival heirloom seeds for a robust and hardy garden, even in the toughest times. We also have starter varieties of the deluxe seed packages for fruit, salad, salsa, peppers, medical herbs, and more. Go to the InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsShop.com. And remember... The revolution against tyranny is growing. Do not be persuaded by strangers or individuals you do not know well to take articles aboard your flight. You are also reminded that any inappropriate remarks or jokes concerning security may result in your arrest. We appreciate your cooperation while these measures are in effect. The TSA and the NSA are moving quickly to kill free speech here in America. Not only do these agencies want to silence any criticism that's aimed at them, but they just want to go ahead and violate your rights without any restraint. We've already exposed how the TSA is nothing more than contrived security theater, but the NSA, they're assaulting your First Amendment right and your Fourth Amendment right by violating your privacy inside your home and via all of your electronics. So that is why we wanted to announce the We Will Resist TSA and NSA Tyranny video contest to expose this blatant and audacious attack of your civil liberties. And here to join me with a little bit more on the contest is Kit Daniels. So Kit, the TSA has already threatened to arrest anyone for making inappropriate comments at the airport. So sh does that mean our submissions should worry about cracking jokes and poking fun at the sensitive <laughs> TSA? <laughs> Absolutely not. Quite the contrary. Uh, we are looking for humor as in our effort to criticize the TSA and their NSA's assault on our free speech. But the, our entry, the entries in the contest don't have to be humor, it doesn't have to be satire. We're also looking for investigative reports, research pieces, so on and so forth. The overall intent is to expose their criminality and their twilight zone insanity. Mm. Because these agencies live in this fantasy where they are preventing crimes or preventing terrorism when quite the opposite. They're engaging in crimes, they're engaging in tyranny against the American people. Exactly. Under the guise of false pretense. And so what are some of the rules for submission requirements? We're looking for entries, uh, the content that is newly created, hasn't been published before. Mm -hmm. Also, we're looking for entries that were posted on not only YouTube, but two other alternate video sites like Vimeo and Daily Motion, for example. Uh, as you'll see on infowords.com forward slash contest, we have additional rules on how to title the video, how to liberty place uh, in tastefully into the production. Right, like having one of your actors drink out yeah. of an InfoWars mug exactly. or something. Exactly. Okay. Also, to keep the entries under seven minutes long, mm -hmm. since we will have many multiple entries, so we want to be able to, our staff will be able to see each one in full. Right, and there's definitely a lot more requirements up there. You can find that article, InfoWars.com. So how, how is the contest, how will the, the winner be selected? Well, we're, what we're looking for is someone who exposes their blatant criminality by trying to suppress our First Amendment to keep us from criticizing them while they abuse our rights, mm -hmm. particularly with unreasonable searches and seizures. Right. And yeah. And so we're, we're, and I mean, this is just, t this is totally t Orwellian Twilight Zone tyranny. This is lunacy. And this is why we have to expose it. Right, with the new the new pods that they're installing, the detention pods, so you can't even leave exactly. the airport. They they're they're acting like they are preventing crime and preventing terrorism when in fact they are the ones that are engaging in criminality and are engaging in constitutional abuses and training the American public into this Cadillac mentality and where we're well behaved prisoners. Yeah, and of to our just accept country. it.
and to just accept their groping hands. Okay, well, before you give us some winning tips, I just wanted to take a moment and let everyone out there know that the only reason why InfoWars can put on contests like this with such huge cash prizes is because of the support of our viewers and listeners out there like you, those of you who are Prison Planet subscribers, who are helping to support this operation, spreading the word about our independent news outlet. We're fighting the state-run media to restore the Republic. And it's not just here, but it's 1776 worldwide. It's time like never before. You gotta wake up your friends and family, and what better way to do that by giving them a Prison Planet subscription um, you can actually get five months free when you sign up for a year of Prison Planet TV. We're running a Christmas, New Year's special right now. You can go there, get the films, the books, all the special reports, exclusive live events, and you know that you are supporting the front lines of independent media. And also, too, if you go to the InfoWars store, we've got a brand new product line, and right now you can pre-order it. It's a 1776 product line, it includes belt buckles, hats, and t-shirts. Limited edition on those belt buckles, there's only 500 of them, so be sure to check those out. And of course, you don't just have to sign up for a year, you can sign up monthly for $5.95, and you can share your username, you can share your membership with 11 people, so that's actually a really great stocking stuffer for your friends and family. Now, Kit, speaking of spreading this message of liberty, how can we Award someone with a $10,000 cash prize. Well, first off, you read the rules, but mm. that's the obvious answer. <laughs> it's been important, but, though. <laughs> yeah, it's important, but it's the real answer beyond, if you follow the rules, mm -hmm. beyond that is to understand the broad context of what's going on. The fact that they are using color of law to attack our free speech, to keep us from criticizing them while they are assaulting our rights. Like we see with the TSA are pulling people off, passengers off of planes because they complained about the service prior to flight. Wow. And I mean, we played back in October, we played the TSA loudspeaker not announcement in a Houston airport about if you will make any jokes, you may be arrested for joking about security. Mm -hmm. But they're even going beyond that. They are using color of law to just harass you and arrest you anyway. We are not slaves, we are free individuals. And the only way that individuals get happiness in this world is by pursuing liberty, by not is by embracing liberty and thriving in it. Absolutely. All right, well you can learn more at infowars.com forward slash contest. All the rules and regulations are there, be sure to follow them. And of course the deadline for submission is going to be 1159 Pacific Standard Time January 7th. Stick around after the show. Jakari Jackson will have a special report for you. And as always, we will return here at 7 p.m. Central tomorrow night. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at infowars.com slash show. The mainstream media has finally gotten around to admitting that your video game can spy on you. Were people uh, aware that the NSA was monitoring World of Warcraft and, and have people playing the game seen any effect of that On monitoring? the worst sides. Travel had always been very easy in Azeroth. Right. But now it seems every time I'm trying to board a flying mount, I'm pulled out of the line and searched randomly. With a joke and a laugh, they tell you what we've already known for years. Whether it be the Xbox Connect system, which is owned by Microsoft, which is a part of the PRISM scandal, as well as the next generation of drone pilots being recruited for their online play. Tune in to the InfoWars Nightly News tonight to find out the truth of the scandal and about how it isn't so funny. Jakari Jackson for InfoWars.com.